What the heck is poopin' H2 Hose and Roller Bros alike? I'm your guide, Q. Welcome back to a very special edition of r slash quit your bullshit. Today we're looking at the story around a post that somebody made on this subreddit regarding a couple students working on a project together. One gets caught in a lie. It was just a great post, totally the sort of thing I'd cover on this channel, laugh at and enjoy. But then the original poster decided to post some updates and stuff, and that's where Redditors started to get skeptical, call him out on his BS, and then eventually Eventually, he ended up coming out, explaining that it was fake, and telling us all why he did it. It's an amazing journey, so I, I encourage you to come along with me. Let's dive into this cringe. So here is the original post in question. Hey Elias, did you finish up your slides on the PowerPoint? It's due at 11.59 and we just need your part. Hey bro, I'm really sorry, but my uncle just had kidney failure and we're all at the hospital. I'll be here all night. I'm trying to deal with it, man. I don't know if I can even make it to class tomorrow. Sorry to hear that, man. Don't worry about it. I'll finish it up. How stranger things? What are you talking about? He posts a snap conversation with, like, Elias' friend or girlfriend or something. Hey, I heard Elias is in the hospital because his uncle had kidney failure. Everything all good with you? What? What do you mean, LMAO? He's over here watching Stranger Things. What? Are you serious? Yeah, your name isn't going on the project. I don't got time for these little games and shit. I'm busy. No, bro, come on. Okay, well, I hope you have time to repeat this class. F*** you, homie. See what happens tomorrow if you try and f*** me over. Yeah, okay, dude. So yeah, pretty quality post. I definitely would have put that in a video and everybody would have laughed at how ridiculous Elias was. But here's an update that this original poster posted in regards to the whole situation. Hey guys, final update. It's a bittersweet ending for the people expecting a video in class. So my professor did not allow me to put his screenshot messages in the PowerPoint because he feared things would get violent. So I'm just gonna stop him right there. What kind of weirdo would put these screenshots into a PowerPoint project and present that to class? Like, oh, we're talking about the rise and fall of Genghis Khan, and also here's a petty dispute between me and another person that was working on this project. Like, it just doesn't belong there at all. He did let me know that he was reporting it all to the head dean, but I sent a personal one to the dean as well. I'll post that below. When I get a response, I'll post that here too. So down to the juicy bit when it was time for Elias to speak. The professor told him to sit down. He gave us the dirtiest looks, but he stayed quiet. The professor did confront him after class about it, but I left before him, though I'm sure he told him it's all being reported and what the consequences are. I went to my car and was about to get in when I saw Elias running towards me, screaming screaming at the top of his lungs. I started to record, but he got too close, and I had to stop to lock myself in the car and drove off. But I got proof of his aggression, and I'll let the school handle the rest, and again, I'll post the email response once I get them. The first link is the video, and the second one is what I sent to the dean. So sadly, the video link is broken. I would have loved to see what he presented as video evidence for Elias chasing him, but we can't find it. But luckily, we do have the email to the dean and the response from the dean, which is where this story starts to fall apart. Hello, my name is Jeff, and I'm a student here at Clown College in Snape's 7 p.m. class on Wednesdays and Fridays. We were assigned a group presentation, and when asking a fellow group member to finish his part, certain events transpired. He threatened me over text, as well as tried to physically assault me in the parking lot after class. I got away and locked myself in the car before I was struck, but I believe his threatening and dangerous behavior needs to be addressed and consequences need to be given. The student's name was Elias, and the professor was already notified of these events. I have attached screenshots and a video of the attempted assault in this email. I hope this is addressed swiftly and with a proper response because it really left me disturbed and questioning my safety. Thank you for your time and I hope to hear from you soon. Hello, first off I would like to say that I'm very sorry for what happened to you on our campus. These events should have never taken place. We pride ourselves on keeping a safe campus at all times, but sometimes we cannot catch these things before it happens. Regarding Elias, we have notified campus police and local PD about the event. Also, Elias will be expelled from college and banned from returning to our campus. I hope you will feel safe to return to campus, and once again, I sincerely apologize. We would like to meet with you on 12-17-18 in my office to further discuss the situation. Once again, we apologize and hope to see you back here soon. 
So is anybody else's BS meter going off hardcore here? I mean, like, I'm definitely starting to question some stuff, but I'll leave it to the Redditors that kind of broke this story to explain exactly what's wrong with this. Here's a comment thread below the update post. Oh my god, he really tried to attack you over something that was his own fault? What a lunatic. I'm glad you're safe, OP, and thanks for updating us all. Hopefully this dude gets what's coming to him. Ah, uh, it's a made-up story. Proof that it's fake? No signature on the Dean's email. Bad grammar and spelling errors. We cannot catch these things before they happen. The original said we cannot catch these things before it happens. No capital C on XYZ College. The Dean must keep another student's affairs private. We would like to meet you. Who is we? The email started in the first person. Other Redditors also have good observations. And there's another Redditor with a very good list of reasons that this is complete BS. Big thanks to Reddit user The Pretzel for pointing all of this stuff out. Yeah, as soon as I saw the email from the dean that mentioned the expulsion of another student, I knew it was 100% fake. For anyone who still believes it's real, FERPA privacy laws regarding students in school prevent anyone at the school from so much as confirming that someone is even a student there without explicit consent from the student to have their presence disclosed to specific individuals. The only thing the dean could have legally said in response would be something like, we have received your complaints and will investigate them thoroughly as quickly as possible. They can't confirm that Elias is a student or say anything about his academic record, including expulsion, to some random person sending an email. Schools don't immediately take disciplinary action. A friend of mine had a freshman roommate who assaulted them in the dorm lobby on camera, and it still took more than a week for them to get a new dorm room. The investigation process in schools takes a fairly long time, even for cut-and-dry cases. Writing style of the dean is identical to OP, including the annoying-as-hell behavior of putting the grading on the same line as the body of the email. Incredibly unprofessional, not how the head of a college writes. It's laughable that OP thinks that anyone can be identified from incredibly low lighting of their video. I wish we could have seen the video. Almost no colleges are actually referred to as a college. They almost exclusively are University of or some such name and are always exclusively referred to by the official name rather than colloquial names uncapitalized college in official communications that's actually a really weak point i can think of a couple colleges that are called blank college right off the top of my head and the last point is also kind of weak in my opinion, but I guess we'll go over it. If OP could send an email to the dean of their college and get a response within 12 hours, I would eat my hat. The workload of those people, especially with the amount of emails and calls they receive, is way too much for them to have seen the email that quickly in all but the tiniest of colleges. I think that's a little bit too far of a reach to assume that he couldn't have possibly received an email within 12 hours for a kind of serious case like this. So although I thought a couple of the statements in that post were sort of weak, I do completely agree that this is absolutely fake. The email from the dean is a dead giveaway. The wording of it, the way that the grammar is completely improper, the revealing of personal information and disciplinary actions that are going to be taken, like, to get an email and then within 12 hours be like, this student is expelled, it's all over, they're not allowed on campus anymore, that would just never happen ever. Like, even if they made a decision that quickly, they would never actually reveal that information to a student like this. So that's where I thought this story ended, and I was just gonna, like, ask you guys your opinions on it, give my own theories about why somebody might have done this, aside from the obvious karma and attention, but we actually got a response from the person who originally created this post explaining why they did it and admitting that it was fake. Okay, okay, Reddit, you got me. Yes, this post was fake and made up, none of that stuff happened. I wasn't expecting for it to get that big, and no, I wasn't doing this for the karma or attention. I do hate a kid named Elias, hence some of the comments you guys found mentioning him, and his name has been a running joke between my friend and me, so we thought it would be funny if we had a bunch of people insult an imaginary Elias. So we made up a funny convo about Elias to get his name out there, and it worked out a lot better than I thought. I woke up the next morning with 30k plus karma. And I honestly expected the post to hit maybe a few hundred upvotes, but you guys kept surpassing my expectations, and before I knew it, I was at 80k plus. Now, I would have left it the way it was until everyone started begging for updates, and frankly, I didn't want to disappoint you guys. So I kept going for our entertainment until I went too far, and no guys, I didn't go out and film just for the post. I actually had that video of my friend for a long time, so I just decided to use that. The reactions and drama from Reddit finding out it was fake got me 
a bit excited, so I just let it happen for a bit. Most of the content on Reddit is probably fake, and I just happened to get caught. Anyways, I'm sorry for lying and disappointing everyone that was hoping this was real, and to the people that gilded me. Oh my god, dude, you should have just left it at this is fake and not gotten into the rest of the details because this makes you sound so much worse than we would have thought initially. So first off, saying that you weren't doing this for karma or attention is just an absolute blatant lie. I mean, you were doing it to get this person that you hate named Elias' name out there, and maybe you were hoping to get a hundred upvotes, but you ended up getting tens of thousands, and I'm sure you were not disappointed with that. Secondly, and I think this is the biggest problem with this entire situation, is that you hated a kid named Elias, so you made up a story about another person named Elias. We can only assume it's the same Elias if we're going through your post history, and you say that he freaks out over getting caught in his lie, and then he threatens to assault you, and tries his best to assault you. This could have caused real-life consequences for this kid named Elias. And I know you guys might think that this is a stretch and maybe I'm reaching here, but people on the internet are crazy, and if somebody had gotten passionate enough about getting some sort of retribution on this Elias kid that tried to assault you, they could have tried to track down Elias through context clues in your post history or tracking down your IP address and ended up swatting him or something like that. Like, you could have caused serious problems for this Elias kid by making up this story just as a funny joke. And maybe that's a huge stretch, I mean, let me know in the comments, but the third thing that I have a problem with here is him saying most of the content on Reddit is probably fake, and I just happened to get caught. Now, while that could be true, I think most people that post on Reddit are just trying to share their real-life experiences and aren't this sort of weirdo that wants to lie just for karma on the internet. I mean, I find that very strange. What does karma even mean? Like, having a million karma, is that gonna make you actually famous or something? Does anybody actually care about people's karma on Reddit? And anyway, regardless of karma being absolutely meaningless, this is just such a cop-out. Like, everybody's doing this. Most of the posts on Reddit are fake, so I'm just doing what everybody else did and I got caught for it. No, no, that's not true at all. This is a very niche category of people, in my opinion, that feel the need to lie for karma, and you did it way more extremely than most people do by having multiple follow-up posts and creating really, really damaging lies about a person. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think I'm overreacting here when I say that this person could have possibly been in danger or at least had minor consequences for having their name attached to this fake story? Do you think that this person is justified in saying that everybody's lying on Reddit? I'm just doing the normal thing for karma. Or not for karma. Not for karma. Not for attention. He's not doing it for that at all. But as usual, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be playing some Overwatch with my girlfriend. It should be a mess. She's going to show me up with her skills and all that stuff. So come hang out if you're interested in that sort of thing. I'm also going to be heavily interacting with the chat as much as I can. So twitch.tv slash That link is going to be in the description and the comments down below. So skate on to the best of your abilities, my lovely rollerbladers. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Make sure you're drinking more water, and please do not lie on the internet. I'll see you very soon.